Did I ever tell you that story? <laughs> no. Like, I put it, she's like, yo, we're going to have a party for Giovanni. I'm going to make menudo. I'm going to invite all my, all my grandma's Mexican bar friends. And menudo, like, who can fucking wants menudo, dude? Like, nobody. I always, always laugh at Jungjin. She gets so bad now. Like, she's she's like 32. And like, gee, we're going to have a party. Well, I'm going to make menudo. You know, you, always, you know that. You always have menudo at your party. And then do you eat it? What, the menudo? Like, yeah. Like, everybody eats the menudo. And the kids are like, hey, you want some menudo? Like, kids don't fucking want menudo. Even Mexicans don't want fucking menudo, dude. No. Like, I don't like menudo. <laughs> God damn it. But it's it. like, you have to eat it. Yeah, you have to eat it. Like, oh, like, like two years ago, my great-grandma made it. She goes, I made menudo. Come have some. I'm like, oh. I just tried to eat the hominy with a little piece of, oh, it's good. Just a little the, in, the, in, the The stomach lining's not so chewy this time. Like, <laughs> a little, little thinner. A little less like. I like it. You can, rubber band. I can't fill those little squares that, you know, the, the honeycomb. Right. I can't, I can't taste that part. I don't feel it on my tongue. Ugh. It's disgusting, dude. All right, you ready? It's Todd and Jim from Like-Minded Lunatics bringing you, yeah, it's another drink place where it's all we do around here. I mean, besides hanging out at the 7-Eleven without our parents knowing about it when we were kids, it's all we've ever done around here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Like-Minded Lunatics and welcome back to Drink Place Swear. Now, Jim, you know this, that Like-Minded Lunatics is not just Drink Place Swear. No, it's not. It's also Mark Gifford, our buddy uh, and uh, writing partner, doing the uh, Friday night videos. So, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, wrong way. Bang. If uh, you haven't done so already, please uh, check out the Friday night videos. And bang. If you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button. Also, Mark and I just got on Patreon, and we are there giving you access to the entire Like-Minded Lunatics television show catalog. I think we're at 21 or 22 now. Uh, so check us out on Patreon with uh, information in uh, the description and in the comments. So check that out. Please join us on Patreon. It's a good time. All right, dude, sorry. I'm exhausted. But let's, let's play. I'm ready to play, bro. Thanks for having me on. This is my favorite Like-Minded Lunatics ske uh, sketch. Uh, segment. I'm happy to be here finally on, on on just me and you without Mark bringing us down. That's right. I love it. And uh, this is our first uh, drink place swear together in person. You have done one before. I think I've done two yeah. remotely. Yes. All right. So this is exciting. And uh, what do we do here at Drink Place Swear? What's well, exactly what it sounds like? We play a game, usually a classic one, pair it with a beverage, and we tell a story. So what are we playing here today, dude? It's Contra Three. Hell yeah, man. Alien Wars, and one of the first times you and I hung out and played games together, uh, we played Contra and uh, Super C and this game, right. so I thought it'd be fun to get it going today. Hell yeah. Uh, what are we drinking today, dude? Well, because of you, we're doing some Mickey's Malt Liquor 24 ounces. <laughs> and we're not using the green screen today, so you can actually see them. Now, I don't recall if I ever had one or not before I met you. I I, I don't know. I think maybe I might have had a, a quart once. Uh -huh. and it was in a plastic bottle, big, Sounds with a big plastic lid. But since right. I met you, we've been drinking Mickey's. Yeah, and you know, I just love that. Uh, here's to it. And get yourself something, folks. I love that because of me, you drink more Mickeys and eat more hot dogs than you ever have in your life. Of course, dude. I almost feel it's like that one song. Because of you, I drink Mickeys on the sidewalk. Throw it on, Mark. You can both eat a dick, Todd. All right. Let's play Contra 3, The Alien Wars. Been a while since I, we played this. Been a while since I played this. But uh, it's a fun game. And uh, we'll, we're going to stink at it. And we're going to get into the story today. All right, just me. That's just him. Uh, we're gonna get into story. Okay, I'm the blonde dude. And All right, I'm not your connected. <laughs> your controller's not awake. Wait for me. There it goes. There it goes. Wait for me. It won't let me leave you. Wait for me. Um, all right, we're gonna get into the story today. So we wanted to talk uh, today about something really wild that Jim and I learned about each other a few years ago. So Jim and I have a number of uh, similarities. Uh, we have a lot in common. Uh, we both got our master's degrees in English. Uh, we both teach uh, writing in the same department at the same university. We both have two kids, one boy, one girl. 
we uh, both of our girls uh, were born on June 14th. Yes. Which is Flag Day. Uh, and somebody else's birthday who we shan't name. Yes, we won't name him. And uh, a former quote leader. And, uh, Alleged. <laughs> and uh, there was another wild thing, which is the subject of today's story today, is we discovered uh, that we grew up in the same apartment building con uh, complex in San Antonio, Texas. The Terra Apartments. So, dude, what I thought I would do is show folks a little footage uh, while we're talking. Yeah. Uh, Jim and I, this morning, met at the Terra Apartments. Uh, we were there, I mean, we must have been there together, uh, but we didn't know each other. So we were there together for the first time on purpose today, and we just uh, looked around a little bit. Uh, what were your impressions today, dude, going back to the Terra Apartments? It was a little surreal. Um, I. It, you know, it's been 35 years-ish, 33 maybe, since I've been there. Yeah. Um, and it's crazy how much you remember from that time in your life. It just kind of all came flooded back and then walk I was- in, Walking those- uh, Walking the grounds. Yes. And it's weird how, like, being there, I, I, all this, this, I guess, sensory uh, memory just came back to me. It, it was really surreal for me. Yeah, I have to say, like, I don't have a reason to do it, but part of me wanted to get an apartment there. Yes, like, exactly. <laughs> I did too, like, maybe a six-month lease. Jim actually went into the leasing office mm -hmm. and asked them <laughs> the pricing. Don't worry, Gemma, he's not going anywhere. But it's just... It, don't it, get me in trouble, dude. It was nostalgia <laughs> it was. walking in that place, and uh, it felt great. So, like, um, I, I just wanted to talk Terra Apartment memories today, dude. So, like... Walking, uh, uh, you know, in those areas, th did you think of anything from your childhood that just jumped out at you that you hadn't thought about? Yeah, so we, we walked to the corner of the street, which was, I would say, about a quarter mile down from the apartment complex. And I remember that I was in the first grade and I would get dropped off from the bus at the corner and have to walk down this kind of busy street. I mean, it, it, there's no sidewalk. Right. And I would walk there. My mom was at work. I'm five or six, walking by myself, and I would walk to my apartment. I was a latchkey kid, yep. and it's funny to me now as a father, I would never, even my 15-year-old daughter who's a sophomore in high school, right. I would not feel comfortable with her walking down a quarter mile of street with no sidewalk and staying by herself. I know, things have changed so much, and of course you want to be a good parent, and so you're probably not going to let her do that stuff, but yet I, I feel the same way. Like the independence we had uh, at that age was so great. Like I was just allowed to run around that complex. And folks uh, seeing some images and some video here will, will kind of get a sense for it. It was pretty big. Yeah, you it's, know? it's a huge complex. And there's and two parts and they're multicolored. So you had, when we were there, I asked you, weren't there two colors and what were they? Yeah, so the, uh, the, the side uh, that we were on was the blue side. And at least when I was super young and when you were super young, the blue side was the side that had central air conditioning. Okay. And the green side was the original side, and they had window units. Okay. And so blue side was like fancy. We were in the blue side. Yeah. We were the fa <laughs> We were classy. And for folks who don't know the place, uh, calling it fancy, I mean, it's what? Lower middle class? Yeah, working class, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, proudly so, I would say. Yeah, I loved it there. Yeah. It, like, no reason to not love it, but it, it was, uh, you know. Yeah. Average folks. Right. Uh, one thing when you were talking about. Uh, walking down the street from the bus that I thought of mm -hmm. and that you and I are reminiscing about today is there was this house along that stretch with an unkept lawn and like a banged up fence. Yes. We walked it today and that place is still fucked up. <laughs> and, and Jim remembered that there was this old lady who would scream at people for walking on her lawn. And the thing of it is is that there, the, the lawn goes till, uh, to the street. There's there, there's no sidewalk, so you can't. There's no there's no other way to get to where you're going unless you walk on this lady's lawn. Yeah, you either have to walk in the road. Well, I remember I would walk home with this uh, female friend of mine, mm -hmm. and I'm I've always tried to uh, be a show off in front of girls. I've gotten better at not doing that now, because especially now I accept that there's nothing to show off about. <laughs> and it's not like I got good hair to to, <laughs> to whip in their face, but. Um, I remember that lady would yell at us every day and I finally got fed up. I'm like, and so I remember flicking her off when I was like five or six and she yelling at me and I just took off running. And I was scared, but I felt exhilarating like trying to show off in front of this girl like I did some cool shit, man. That's right. This lady in my memory, of course she, you know, it's probably, you know, built, been built up over the years, but she looked like, uh, I don't know, some kind of like Jim Henson oh, yeah. witch. She had like a like a like the your your classic old lady haircut. I want to say like, like the Skeksis. Yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> yeah. 
And she had this son. He was a grown man, but uh, he lived with her uh, because I think he had some learning problems. He, he lived with her as a grown man, and he would walk up and down the street just howling at no one, telling himself stories and singing. We called him Party Head John <laughs> because we thought there was always a party uh, going on uh, in his head. How many years were you there, dude? I want to say we were there for about two years because then after that, we moved to the Terrellwood Apartments off Austin Highway, which they're no longer there. Oh, yeah. yeah, they tore all that stuff down. Yeah, and um, I remember uh, our house got broken into, or our apartment got broken into when we were at the Terrellwood Apartments, yeah. and they stole my um, Atari 50-something hundred oh, or whatever the 5000 series was. Yeah. And then after that, we, we moved. Oh. But you know that that Austin Highway. And you moved out of Texas at that point, right? No, 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 no. We we moved back kind of like to the hood. Oh, okay. Um, and then uh, we I didn't move out of Texas until I was in the um, eighth grade. Okay. Yeah, but um, yeah. So we um, that whole area has has come up quite a bit because that Austin Highway area used to be pretty run down. Oh yeah, it used to be kind of near Alamo Heights where you would go uh, to to get all your shady stuff done. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Um, well, I uh, was essentially born in the Terra Apartments. We had three different apartments uh, over the course of my uh, youth there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I graduated high school, went to college, and left left there. Uh, so I had much more time at, at Terra than you did. But lots of fond memories of the Terra Apartments. And dude, it was fun to go there and hang out. It was, man. I have to say that usually at the end of the show here, uh, <laughs> we finish them off. But these are ice cold tall boys, and I've been talking the whole time. So what I'm going to say to you is we're going to tend Mississippi it, All right. and you're going to take what you can down. I, okay? I may spit it back up. This is Mickey's now. <laughs> this is classy. What are you talking about? Very classy. Terra Apartments, hanging out with Jim, drinking Mickey's. And between now and the next time we talk to you, with Jim and Todd. You can do it. See ya. If you threw up on camera, I would keep it. Oh no, dude. I got it. I'm, I'm not an amateur. See ya. <laughs>